All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find markup in your Photos app, which is advanced editing, where you can add text, shapes, and a number of other things. What we're gonna do is go to Photos. You're gonna open it. I have it opened up to this uh, specific album. And I'm just gonna pick one photo here. And this is a picture that I took of a plane flying in front of the moon. Now, if you wanna edit this, you have to slide to the top. You have to go to the right and hit Edit. And it's gonna give you this darker page where you have your photo, right? And then at the bottom, you have a number of different edits that you can do, which most people are familiar with. But to do the advanced editing, we're gonna come back up to the top and we're gonna to go to this circle with a little pen in it. That's markup. And we're gonna click it and it's gonna bring us to this page. It's called markup. If you look at the top, it says cancel. It's got a back button, a forward button, and a done button. There's your photo and at the bottom, you have all the various tools that you can use. These are all styluses. You'll see there's colors in them. The colors are what are going to uh, show up in your photo when you use those. We, the way you use them is by touching them one time and they pop up. You see how that popped up? Sometimes it's not responsive. That one popped up. So now if I use my finger and write on there, it would be yellow. Let me just show you. I'll make a little line. You see that? And I want to get rid of that. I can come up here and hit that. All right, so you have all these different styluses. And then over here, you can change the color. When you click this, it gives you this drop up and you can do it in a grid, a spectrum or a slider. Let me just run through it really quick. There's your spectrum, there's your slider. And this is where it shows what color. You can change the opacity here. You know, the, uh, you know how see-through it is. And when you figured out what you're gonna do or what color you're gonna use, you just go like this. You know, it's the same thing here. You just pick, right? The slider, look, you can change it. You can see how it changes. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But what I like, and it gives you the number down here. This is, you know, if you were writing code, you would use those numbers. But let's go back here. And that's the one that I like to use. Now let's get out of that. To get out of it, I'm gonna click here. And then the other last thing that you wanna look at down here is this plus sign. If you click this, it gives you a drop up. And in this, you can add stickers. All right, let me just click on that. You've got all these different stickers that you can go through and add. Um, these are all my personal little emojis that I have on here. And they've added new ones, by the way. They've got a lot of new ones. So let's get out of that. Um, you can, if you click it again, you could do a description and that all that does is you write in what this is. Like I could, I'm going to do voice text, plane in front of moon. So now I've written plane in front of moon. You see that? All right. If I'm good with that, I just hit done. Um, let's kick, let's kick it again. The next thing is you can add text. All right. And you can see there's a text box right there. And then I, what I would do is I would, um, touch in the field and I would get my, you know, whatever text I want to write in there. First of all, I have to get rid of the text that's in there. Let's just write my name really quick. So that's how you would do that. All right. Um, if I want to get rid of it, I could click on these, th these three little dots right here and it gives me a drop up and I could just hit delete and that's gone. Let's go one more. The next thing is a, a signature. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why you would need a signature on a photo, but I'm not going to go through that one. Let's just go to shapes. All right, here's shapes. Now you could add any one of these shapes and there's a specific way to edit them, which I'm going to make more videos on those. I'm not going to go through it today, but you could put a cartoon bubble. You can put uh, arrows, circles, um, you know, squares, different types of geometric shapes. If you're cool with that, you just hit there. And then bam, if you're done, you hit up here and then all the changes would be on your photo. So I'll just hit done. And then it's gonna ask me again, it just took me back, you know, one page to the edit page. And I just go up here and I hit that, done again. And bam, Bob's your uncle, there we are. We're back on our original photo, which we I didn't do anything to, but anyway, that's, that's the advanced editing tool called Markup uh, on iOS 17. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos. Peace out.